Louis Barol is the owner of Chateau saint gomain gigondas and his estate and his efforts are emblematic of the Appalachian as a whole. He arrived in Gigondas in 1992 and he took over the estate from his father, and at the time it was struggling. Gigondas did not command any respect in the marketplace, the wines were sold in bulk as much as they were bottled on their own, and the vintages in the early 90s were kind of lean. Louis is a rugby fan though, and he brought that fighting spirit with him when he joined the estate in 1992. He attacked his vineyards, changing the viticulture, he stopped selling the estate's wines in bulk, he even broke the vineyard parcels out separately and began bottling them that way to focus on quality. And as he did that and improved his estate, he created a lot of competition within Gigondas. And as a whole, he brought the appellation up with him. And today, Gigondas as a whole rivals Chateauneuf du Pape for the premier appellation in the Southern Rhone Valley. 2015 is a terrific vintage in the Southern Rhone and a terrific vintage at Chateau saint Combe. They have six bottlings of Gigondas. All six earned classic ratings of 95 points or better in the 2015 vintage. We selected saint Combe's basic cuvee because it represents the estate as a whole, and its availability with 4,000 cases produced allows you to find it easily. What I like about St. Combe Gigondas is it's dark, it's grippy, it's big, it's a muscular wine, but it's not overly rustic. It's brimming with energy, it's, it's got a ton of fruit, great delineation, it's a wine that's gonna age for a long time. It's a wine I love because it goes with cassoulet, it goes with lamb, it goes with fall and winter, and it's all of the things that I love about the Southern Rhone. Congratulations to vigneron and owner Louis Barol for earning the number five spot in Wine Spectator's Top 100 for 2017 with the Chateau Saint-Combe Gigondas 2015.